in today's video, we are going to be talking about why I chose to study hospitality management. So if you want to know more about my reason for doing that, definitely keep watching. Alright, so there are three main reasons why I decided to study hospitality management. The first reason is because I loved the industry, I develop a love for it. The second reason is because I think it fits my personality. And the third reason is because the career and job opportunities are extraordinary. They are great in this particular um, area of study. So let's look at the first one. Now, when I was younger, my mom worked in the hotel industry and I had the opportunity to go to work with her sometimes when we were on vacation. And I would always see the guests and, you know, people coming for vacation and everyone is always smiling. And the staff that work at hotels and in some of the restaurants, they look so well put together. Um, they look like they had the perfect job. So I thought that that was something that I would want to do. Now, I think that I fell in love with that industry because I kind of saw myself, one, as the workers, and two, I saw myself as the customer where I'm getting pleased, I'm on vacation, it's a nice environment to be in. So that was my first reason, the love of it. The next reason why I think that I chose that is because I think that it personally fits my personality. Now, I know for a fact that you would have encountered someone that works at a restaurant, that works at a hotel, or works within a particular company that provides a service, and for some reason, they're not the most pleasant person to deal with. It just always seems like maybe you're bothering them when you're trying to get some assistance. I think that those people are probably not right for service type jobs or dealing with customers. But I personally felt whatever that I was dealing with in my personal life, I would be able to put that aside and make the customers happy or make my clients happy and provide a positive experience. I knew that about myself before I went off to study and that is why I chose that area. The third reason why I decided to choose that area is because I am from a Caribbean island, I am from St. Kitts and Nevis, and our main means of economy is tourism. So this means most of the people who work on the island, they're in some form of the industry altogether. And if they're not directly hired by hotels, or motels or restaurants or do taxi service or anything like that the businesses that are there they provide generally a service or product so either way they're actually servicing people in some way or form so that was the third reason why I decided to study that degree now looking at the first reason again the love for it whenever I would see my mom interact with guests and I would see other people interact with guests. I always said to myself, this is something that I, would, I can do. I saw how good it made my mom feel to actually help someone. And I saw that she would always go above and beyond in whatever she does. Even with us as kids, it's just a part of her. So I think I inherited that. And I wanted to make sure that I am studying something that fits my personality. Because of how I told you I am, I wouldn't, I believe I wouldn't pick a position or work in an environment that would cause me to be disgruntled. Yes, I know that there are certain jobs that we just have to do because we need to get paid, but because of how I am, I think that I would look for a job that matched close to my personality, as close as possible. That way, and this is the key thing here, that way, when I'm working, I don't feel like I'm working. Yes, we know that we get paid and we work to get paid to make a better life and have a family and do all these things. But the job that I want to do and always wanted to do is the job that I can feel like I'm doing that it 
it doesn't matter if I'm getting paid, I'll still want to do it. Do you understand what I mean? So that is where the love and personality kind of tied in when it comes to hospitality management. Now, in a previous video, I would have explained that right now I am an admissions counselor um, for an institution in the US. So I help my Caribbean people access higher education if they want to study online or if they want to enroll in an online degree program. Now, I know that there are many different people that might say, well, hmm, to be an admissions counselor, you really didn't need hospitality. I kind of see you working in a hotel or, you know, something like that. What you guys need to understand, when I'm working with students, I build relationships. Even after they graduate, I still get along with them. The parents are forever grateful because guess what? They meet other admissions counselor, they meet other admissions rep, but it's not the same. Remember, I work for a specific institution, but because I build relationship, just because you're not interested in the school that I'm going to go to, doesn't mean that I'm not going to help you. Are you crazy? Especially if you're a Caribbean person, I am go going to go above and beyond it to assist you. You are my people. Right? So that is one thing that I always have to be careful with because a lot of the times it's hard for me to say no and maybe I extend myself a little bit more than I should. But that is a good um, situation to have um, once I'm not getting worn out. So personality, the love for the industry, those are things that you should consider when picking a major. If you know for a fact, regardless of what it is, you can be nice, you cannot just give extra of yourself, maybe hospitality is not right for you. Because remember, and I mentioned it in a previous video and I'm going to link it right here, you want to make sure you're not just providing a service which is just a transaction. Anyone can follow a few steps and do something. It is you having to put yourself, give that yourself that emotional connection to the person that makes it hospitality. So I just wanted to stress that one more time. Now, if we go back in terms of the career options, oh my God, when it comes to jobs, oh my God. So I have another video that talks about the different segments within the hospitality industry. And of course, there is the lodging segment, there's the food and beverage segment, there's the recreation segment, and you should watch that video. I am going to link it below as well. When you look at those different segments, and each of these different segments have different um, jobs underneath them and different career paths, it's kind of like if you're not doing hospitality, then what are you doing? If you're honestly, if you're not doing hospitality management, you must be an agriculture major, or you must be a science major, or you must be a tech major. You understand what I'm go where I'm going? But when you're talking about business altogether, business management, that's within hospitality management. Because did you know, when I studied hospitality management, there were quite a bit of classes that were not specifically referred to um, hospitality management, but I had my IT in there, I had my accounting in there, I had my presentation skills in there, I had business in there, I had finance in there, and guess what? This is where I did the, mi the minor. So I had a total of seven marketing courses that specifically taught me from A to Z when it comes to marketing. So when you're talking about a degree, a bachelor degree in hospitality management, oh, your business majors do not have anything on me because a lot of the classes that you did in your business degree program, I did that as a part of my hospitality degree program plus more. All right, so when you're thinking about business management, consider a degree in hospitality management with a minor in a specific area. 
all right? If you have tourism and hospitality, even better, because now you get in terms of the travel aspect of it. However, in your hospitality degree, you still have to take a travel and tourism class. So that's in there for you as well. But hospitality, like I said, it's not just about um, providing a service. That is why the love and passion that I had for it, the fact that it fits my personality, and the fact that the career and job opportunities are so vast were the main reason why I decided to study that. All right, let me know in the comments if you're thinking about studying hospitality management. Let me know in the comments if you find this helpful. Please remember to subscribe, like, and turn on your notification button so you can see my other videos.